a member of a small community that lives among the tumbled boulders bordering a mountain meadow where they all feed. That's a warning call telling other pikers that this patch is now taken. Pikers start their foraging early in the morning. They eat all parts of a plant, not just leaves, but the flowers as well. But grazing out in the open is dangerous. There are eagles around, so the pikers never stray very far from the safety of the rocks. There may seem to be plenty of food now, but before long there'll be the first flurries of snow, the flowers will die back, and winter will be upon us. What happens then, when little is growing? Well, watch what happens to these, if I leave them just there. It's not eating my flowers, at least not yet. It's stacking them in a special larder, creating a store that will last it through the hard days to come when this valley will be covered in snow. It'll need a stack several feet thick if it's to survive the winter. The strange thing is that many of these leaves are extremely poisonous. So why does the piker collect them? Well, the poison acts as a natural preservative and the leaves remain fresh until midwinter. So in the end, the poison works to the piker's advantage. But the piker's preparations are more subtle than they might seem. It takes care to collect a variety of plants. Those with only a little poison will become edible quite quickly, whereas those with a lot will remain fresh until almost the end of winter. Each little piker may make several hundred trips a day, literally making hay while the sun shines. 